What's going on, guys? Jeremy here from LSAPC. And if you are as crazy about NFTs as I am, or if you have any interest in getting into the NFT and the Funko NFT game specifically, then this is the video for you. Today, we are going to do a tutorial, a how to video on how to set up a wax wallet so you can get started in the Funko NFT game. Let's get started. All right, guys, so what I've done is created a short little video here that I'm gonna walk through with you and I'm gonna talk about what's going on as it is happening. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight to Google or go to Google Chrome or whatever browser you use and we're gonna search for Wax Wallet. And so we'll take it from here. We'll let the video take it from here. Um, first, we're gonna, well, learn how to spell there apparently, but we are gonna go to Wax Wallet and just search that and you're gonna find right there the link to wallet.wax.io. So from here, you're gonna go into sign up for a new account. And once you click on that, it's gonna have you put in all your information, your email, your password, that kind of thing. It's gonna have you slide that little deal to confirm you're not a bot. And then it's gonna tell you to check your email. So you go to your email and you activate your account. And then you go back here and re-sign in to your wallet using those uh, that name and password that you set up. You have to agree their terms of service, but this is the part where it gets a little bit crazy. Uh, this is relatively new. You now have to activate it by depositing five wax, and you have to do it with a certain memo code to the address of newuser.wax, all that. This is about the time where most people go like, whoa, I'm out. I don't know how to do all this stuff. I don't want to do it. I'm going to show you a very, very easy way and simple way to do that. We're going to go through here where you can purchase wax. And these are all the different ways that you can purchase it. You can do it through Simplex, which is what I use. MoonPay is another option. Uh, Binance, Crypto.com, KuCoin, you name it. There's a number of exchanges that offer WAX to buy. And most of those, uh, all of those exchanges offer you a wallet when you buy it so that you can uh, transfer from that exchange over to your WAX wallet. Okay, so now I have copied that memo. And I'm going to go the easiest way for me to get money transferred over or to get wax transferred over is to open up my alternate wallet and send money that way. So here's what we've got. I have multiple wax accounts because I have one that I store all the ones that I want to keep. And I have one that I use to buy, sell and trade. Uh, if you if you want to do that, you certainly can set it up that way or you can do any other wallet. You can buy it on any of those exchanges and add it to your to your wallet at any time. So. Uh, here's what you do. You you go into your, in my case, I'm going into my other Wax wallet, but you could go into any wallet that you have and you're going to uh, send, which is over here, and then you are going to transfer chosen token to send. You are going to pick Wax here and then we are going to send it using the information that they gave us. So what they want is five Wax, which is about $2, less than $2. Uh, you click next and here in the memo code, since I copied it, you can paste it right in there. And for the wax account, go back, double check it. New user dot wax uh, is the, is the funding address that you want to send it to. So we're going to go back over to the wax wallet. We're going to type in new user dot wax. And then we're going to, I always like to go back in, double check that I spelled everything right. Make sure it's all correct. Then go back over and click next to send. It's going to ask you to authorize the transaction. Go ahead and approve it. And you're going to send it on its way. It says it's okay. Now, when you go back over to the other address, you will see that it, it moves you past that creating account, preparing wallet. Now it's taking you into your new wax wallet and it gives you the address of iqumk.c.wam uh, in my case, in your case, it'll be something random and different. Okay. So I'm going to jump in here real quick and tell you when you do this, if you buy, let's say you buy $50 worth of wax, when you go to set up your wax account, only transfer the five wax that are required in order to set that new account up, because that is actually the cost of setting up the wallet and it doesn't transfer all of the other wax that you add there to that, uh, to the wallet. So once you have gotten the address set up, then you can transfer the remainder of what you have uh, straight over to the wax wallet or you can buy wax from the new wax wallet as well. So we're also going to go through and show you from a different wallet. I'll show you how you can transfer using um, 
KuCoin or one of these other exchanges so that you can see how that process works because a lot of people aren't going to have already have a wax wallet set up like I did. So let's go through that here in just a second as well. Okay, so here I am in the crypto.com app on my phone. Uh, I have purchased wax through the crypto.com app and I'm going to show you how you go through and transfer that over to your uh, wax wallet. So here we're just going to go into the wallet. We're going to go down and find the wax. We're going to click on wax. I've got $52 worth of wax. I'm going to go click withdraw. And then once I click withdraw, I'm going to send it to an external wallet. I will add the external wallet here and I will type in my corresponding wax wallet address. Once you enter the wallet address and click continue, then you'll just follow the steps and you can transfer your wax from crypto.com over to your wax wallet. So from there, this is where it gets really interesting. So now you've got your wax wallet created. You can store your NFTs in there. You can look at them in there. You can look at different things that wax offers. Uh, but really what most people are wanting to do is buy NFTs, buy packs, buy, you know, shop basically, or trade or sell or any number of other things. So this is how we're going to get into that. We're going to take that wax wallet. Now that we've done that, we're going to go back into a Google search and we're going to search the term Atomic Hub, all one word, Atomic Hub. And then you're going to get this address here that is wax.atomichub.io. That's the address you want to go to. We're going to click that. It's going to bring you up to this page right here, accept the cookies, you log in, and then you're going to link your cloud wallet. All you have to do is click and then approve it. It's automatically going to pull it up. It links your account. You are done. That's it. So from here, you can go into the market, you can buy things, you can look and see what, what's available. Um, in this case, I'm switching it over to Funko so that I can see all the things that are in Funko. We'll do a full in-depth tutorial over Atomic Hub as well. But for now, that's how you get your Wax Wallet set up. And that is how you get your uh, Atomic Hub, your Wax Wallet linked to your Atomic Hub, which is what you will need to buy, sell, and trade your NFTs. So I know that is a very short and quick tutorial. Feel free to come back to it as many times as you need to see the process. And if you have any questions about transferring your, uh, your wax from a separate wallet over to your new wax wallet, please let me know, reach out or comment down below. I'd be happy to help you. Um, slow down the video if you need to. I know I went through it fast, but it'll be there for you to go back to uh, over and over again as many times as you need. Once you get your wax wallet account set up, and you get Atomic Hub linked to it, stay tuned. We will have another video that is going to show you all the things that you can do on Atomic Hub. Can't wait to get into that. So we will see you in the next one.